there. Welcome back to the classroom. Let's put a little vacay in your day. Today's vacay Q&A comes from Linda in Arizona. Linda says, Hi, Miss Kears. Hi, Linda. After reading about decision fatigue, I realize how much time I spend paralyzed by indecision. Not only in what to wear, but also in what to eat, even what to watch on TV. There are so many good options, I'm constantly afraid of making the wrong decision, so I drive myself crazy and make no decision. What can I do to keep decision fatigue from controlling my life? Well, Linda, again, it's totally possible to have too much of a good thing, and an abundance of riches very often triggers just that, decision fatigue, also known as fear of missing out. And it's another one of those things that although the solution is simple, it's not easy. It will take a little getting used to, but once you turn it into a habit, it will be one of those seeds of success that you're glad you planted. So the first thing we have to do to stop decision fatigue from controlling our life is to make a laundry list. Make a laundry list of all the good things that we have to choose from. Okay, let's say for the purpose of this example that we want to go see a movie tonight. And there are lots of good movies to see at the moment. However, if we don't hurry and make that decision, we're not going to catch the start time and we're going to miss the beginning of whichever movie we choose to see. So the first thing we need to do in this particular case is make a laundry list. Make a list of all the movies that are available to us. And then to simplify our solution, let's cross off the ones that maybe the start time is too tight and we're going to really have to rush to get there. Because again, that's another key symptom of ennui is running around with our tail on fire. And if we decide to see a movie that starts in 10 minutes and we're 20 minutes away, what are we doing? We're lighting that tail on fire ourselves. So stop that. Look at it realistically. Which ones do we have time to get to? And then once we've done that, let's look at our group, whether it's me and one other person or me and five other people, and decide which ones we all agree that we would like to see, because there are some that are going to be more desirable to some than others. Once we've made that decision, that should have narrowed our solutions down a lot. So first of all, let's make our laundry list, and then let's simplify those solutions by weeding out the ones that aren't quite relative. And from there, we have to plan proactively. So, if the movie starts at 8, what time do we realistically need to leave the house to get there in time to not light our tail on fire in the process? So remember, when you're dealing with decision fatigue, the first thing you have to do is make that laundry list. Lay all your options out. Then simplify those solutions and determine which ones are not quite right. And from there, make a proactive plan to take advantage of all those riches that life has to offer. Okay, Linda, I hope this helps. Drop me a comment in the box below and let me know. And if you have any more questions, just leave them there, and I'll either come back to you with a comment or another video. See you next time.